Today, we are talking about how to organize your folders and files in Premiere Pro. Now, while it's tempting to just drag and dump everything into the edit, if you do that, it can get pretty messy very quickly. So by keeping your project window nice and tidy, you'll be able to edit more efficiently and a lot quicker. You can do this in whatever way suits you personally, but I'm gonna show you how I like to do mine. And you know, if you, if you think that works for you, then fantastic. Um, so I like to basically reflect in my project window um, how I order my folders outside of Premiere Pro, which is just like this. So this is a project I've been working on, and I basically have the folders projects, music, media, graphics, edits, and audio. These are usually the main folders that I'll have. And then obviously within media, I have the different, for example, on this shoot, there were four days, and then lots of other events. And in your project folder, you've got the projects that you're working on in Premiere Pro, and so on. Audio, I've got narration. So this is basically what I'm gonna be copying in Premiere Pro with a few slight tweaks. So in the project window, bottom left here, I'll get this full screen for you, you can create these things called new bins. And bins, which I think is a strange name, are they're just effectively folders. So you can right click and then new bin. And I'm gonna call this one media. And then within this, I create some new folders such as the GH5, which is my main camera and then maybe a drone folder, maybe I've been filming on the GoPro, and so on. And then within these folders, I can begin to add the media for each of these cameras. And if I head back out, there's just a few folders that are slightly different. So instead of project folder, I'm gonna create a sequence folder so you can store any sequences here. And then the rest is pretty self-explanatory. So music, we'll do one for audio and we'll do one for graphics as well. And as the project goes along, you, you may well find that you wanna add in something else. But as you can see, when it comes to editing on the timeline, I've got my folders here and they're all really nice and easy. There's nothing messy going on about this window here. I can just easily click in and find what I'm looking for. And one last thing that I like to do is you can change the, you can change the colors so for example, they're all orange at the moment. Maybe I want my sequence to be, let's go Caribbean, and then let's change music to purple, whatever you want. And then this, again, just helps make each folder stand out that little bit more. And when it comes to, to looking in the project, project window, you can very easily locate, ah, there's my music tracks, or okay, audio. Um, so yeah, that's how I do it. I think it's a really, it's a really easy thing to do, and that just keeps your your edit more streamlined and more efficient. I've I've been there where everything I've been using is just dumped in this window, and it it just looks like a complete mess, and it makes it really hard to to find footage that you maybe want to come back to or you need later on in your edit. So if you can stay nice and organized like this, it will help you quite a bit. Just to further make that point, here is a very old project that I worked on a few years ago and you can see my project window here is just a jumble of audio files, clips, folders. It's, it's a complete mess as you can see. And then if you juxtapose that with this very recent project that I've been working on, you can see over here the project window is looking a lot better, a lot neater. So I've got my media here. I've got all my different cameras, GH5, Sony, GoPro Session, drone. It's just, you know, the difference is, is night and day. Um, so that's my, that's my takeaway here is, it's just gonna make your life a lot easier. Keep things neat and tidy. You'll be far more efficient in the edit.